Keep your hands off. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. 2 Chronicles 20 verse 12. A life was lost in Israel because a pair of human hands were laid unbidden upon the ark of God. They were placed upon it with the best intent to steady it when trembling and shaking as the oxen drew it along the rough way. But they touched God's work presumptuously and they fell paralyzed and lifeless. Much of the life of faith consists in letting things alone. If we wholly trust an interest to God, we must keep our hands off it and he will guard it for us better than we can help him. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him, fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Things may seem to be going all wrong, but he knows as well as we, and he will arise in the right moment if we are really trusting him so fully as to let him work in his own way and time. There is nothing so masterly as inactivity in some things, and there is nothing so hurtful as restless working, for God has undertaken to work his sovereign will. Being perplexed, I say, Lord, make it right. Night is as day to thee. Darkness is light. I am afraid to touch things that involve so much. My trembling hand may shake. My skillless hand may break. Vine can make no mistake. Being in doubt, I say, Lord, make it plain. Which is the true, safe way? Which would be gain? I am not wise to know, nor sure of foot to go. What is so clear to thee? Lord, make it clear to me. It is such a comfort to drop the tangles of life into God's hands and leave them there. Thanks for watching. God bless you.